Hi everyone, in this video we are going to implement login form using JSP Server JDBC MySQL example. Alright, so in this video we will build a simple login form using JSP Server JDBC and MySQL database together. Alright, and basically we create a employee login form and we validate a employee uh, you know a username and password with the database okay so look at the screenshot here so we basically create a employee login form and uh, so the employee will basically use uh, this form to authenticate with uh, database so the employee will enter username and password and hit submit then this username and password will be validated against a database uh, username and password okay so the source code of this tutorial we have i have already hosted on github repo and i have provided a link of github repository at the end of this tutorial so i am going to develop this tutorial from scratch so yeah you can just follow the steps uh, and you can just uh, we can just implement this tutorial together so here are the tools and technology that we will be using so we use a gsp uh, we will be using Eclipse IDE to develop this application and we use J JDK 1.8 or later and we use Apache Tomcat 8.5 We use JSTL, Solid API and we use MySQL connector Java. So this is the MySQL JDBC connector uh, So we use to connect to the MySQL database using JDBC API Alright, so here are the development steps So first step is we need to create a Eclipse dynamic web project and next we add all the required jar files next we create a project structure next we set up the mysql database and next we create a login java bin class next we create a login dao class next we create a login servlet class next we create a login and login success gsp pages all right so we'll be using muc design pattern in order to develop this web application so in case of model we use a login class and in case of a controller layer we use login servlet and in a view layer we use a login and login success gsp pages all right now the first step is we need to create a you know dynamic web project in eclipse id all right so remember these are the development steps only you need to implement and you will be able to successfully complete this tutorial so first step is open the eclipse id and let's create a dynamic web project so I am in Eclipse ID. So visit my previous few videos where I have shown you how to create a MUC example using servlet and JSP. And I have also shown you how to create a registration model using JSP servlet and JDBC. Alright. So in Eclipse ID, uh, just create a dynamic web project. Go to the file, new, choose dynamic web project, and give name here like login JSP servlet jdbc example hit finish so this will create a simple dynamic web project uh, with the default directory structure so inside a lib folder we need to add the jar dependencies all right so in previous video i have added the jar dependencies so i will copy from there and if you want to get these jar files you can just go to the my github repository where i have given these jar files okay now the first step is completed that is creating a dynamic web project and second step is also completed by adding the jar dependencies to the lib folder next we need to create the project structure so look at the screenshot here based on the screenshot you can just follow uh, the packaging structure project name and the directory structure etc so again go to the eclipse uh, right click on src folder new and choose package and give package name as net dot java guides dot login so you can give any package name that you are you know familiar and uh, now let's create a packages I will create a model so if you want anytime you can refer the screenshot here like uh, you know bean database web so these are the packages we are going to create you can create either model or bin and uh, you just create one more package and name it as 
a database and create a one more package and name it as a web all right so now we have created a project structure next step is we need to set up the mysql database all right so this is the ddl script that we need to create a login table so open the mysql workbench and uh, here is the employees uh, you know a database now under employee database we will create the login table just select this database and execute the login ddl script so this will create a login table just refresh here yeah here we go so login table is created with the uh, username and password columns now we have done a database setup that is we have created a table in the existing database okay now let's uh, execute some insert queries so this is the insert statement and here we need to give a no need to give a database name because we have already selected here and just execute this query yeah here we go one row one row is affected it means that the table is get updated yeah here we go so username is an image and password is an image all right now our database uh, setup is ready we have created table with uh, one record so let's have a look into the next step so next step we need to create a login bin class all right so we use login bin class uh, in a gsp action text but i will show you a bit later under bin package let's create a class and name it as a bin login bin and instead of writing line, line by line code let me reuse the existing code from the article so writing line by line code uh, takes a lot of time let me reuse the code and let me explain it so this is the simple login form or login class login bin class it has a username and password private fields and here we have getter setter methods to access these private fields so look at the next step we need to create a login DAO class so under database package let's create a class name it as employee DAO and let me reuse the code so this DAO class contains a JDBC code to connect with MySQL database so let me reuse this code and I will explain you so inside a login DAO class we have validate method and here we are passing login bin parameter to validate method and here we are connecting to the MySQL database by using JDBC um, MySQL URL and username and password and here we are creating a prepared statement object by using connection object and here we are firing select query select from login where username and password all right and here we are executing the query and we are getting the result from the result set that is the status boolean or false okay great it's pretty simple uh, DAO class let's have a look into the next step next step is we need to create a login servlet so we create a login servlet to process a HTTP request parameters and redirect to the appropriate GSP page based on the employee login status. All right. So if login successfully validated with the database, then redirect to the login success page. Otherwise, redirect to the login page itself. Okay. Let's create a login servlet. So on our web package, right click new and uh, so we are not creating a class we are creating a servlet name it as a login servlet all right so let me reuse this code here and just paste it paste it here so look at here this is the login servlet and it is mapped with the login uh, you know this mapped with the url pattern as login slash login and notice here we are not using web web.xml or deployment descriptor to define the login not define the servlet but we are using at web servlet annotation to declare a servlet okay and look at here we are creating object of login dao and 
this is the do post method so whenever a user submits the login form then this do post will process that uh, http post request so look at here from the from the request object we are getting a request parameter such as username and password and we are creating a login bin uh, object and we are setting the user and password and we are just forwarding that login bin object to the validate method so this validate method uh, internally uh, you know query to the database and it will return a result if the username and password are matches to the username and password which are there in a database table it's very simple right so if the uh, if the username and password are uh, successfully matched with the username and password with the database table then this will redirect to the login dot success page otherwise it will redirect to the login page itself all right great now it's very simple login servlet and one more thing you need to remember is that uh, whenever you create a dynamic web project you need to add a apache tomcat server to the class path so in order to add that just right click uh, build path configure build path and here in a library section make sure that you, you have added apache tomcat here so if it is not there then you can just click on add library and select Serv server runtime next and you can choose apache tomcat hit finish apply and apply close all right great now we have created a servlet let's have a look into the next step so next step is we need to create a login gsp page so login gsp page is a simple uh, you know html form with the username and password field so so employee will basically enter username and password and uh, will hit a submit button and this is the form uh, with the post request http post so this will call the servlet and servlet will process this login form data and internally it will validate with the database screenshots and based on the you know we are based on the status of the uh, login success login uh, method then it will redirect to the login success page or it, it will redirect to the login page itself okay let's go ahead and let's create this login.jsp page so under web content folder create a login.jsp page and just copy this code just reuse this code instead of writing line by line code uh, because it saves uh, time and this is simple html form with the login as action and post http post as a method and this is a table with username and password fields that's pretty simple right so let's create a one more a jsp page that is login success so under the content folder click right click jsp page and view name as login success.jsp page and let's reuse this code so this uh, once i employ login successfully then this page shows a success message on the screen great now uh, we have done other development stuff now it's time to deploy the application on a web web browser a web server and we will see the demo okay right click on the project uh, run as run on server next and keep login jsp servlet jdbc example hit finish so this will deploy login jsp servlet jdbc example in apache tomcat server just wait a moment it will take few seconds to deploy yeah here we go so there are no errors on a console and no exception at a console so it means that the application is deployed successfully in our apache tomcat server and now let's copy this url and let's use a browser in a browser tab just hit this link now let's use the url from the servlet at a servlet we have a url login right let's copy this and here we need to here we need to give a gsp name that is login.gsp so this will open the employee login form like this 
now let's enter username as Ramesh and password as Ramesh hit submit I hope we have oops we got some error it means that uh, we have given unknown database let me fix this quickly so here we need to give a database name as employees let's run this application quickly and let's see the demo again okay the server is up and running now let's go to the browser and refresh this and then enter username as Ramesh and password is Ramesh and hit submit yeah here we go you have logged in successfully all right it means that username and password is successfully authenticated with the database table and uh, uh, from the servlet uh, this login success page will be redirected all right so this is how basically we develop a login form using gsp and we use servlet to handle the login from data and we use jdbc code to connect to the mysql database and we will we authenticate username and password with the database uh, table username password all right it's pretty simple so i have hosted source code of this tutorial on github repository and i have provided a link at uh, you know at the bottom of this tutorial so i'll provide this link of this article in a video description so you can use it so thanks for watching i hope you find this video tutorial useful subscribe to my youtube channel so that whenever i, I will publish such videos you will get notified thanks for watching i will see you in the next video